is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Andy in Boulder, Colorado. Hey, Andy, what's going on, brother? Not much, Tom. How you doing? I'm great, man. Yourself? Pretty good. Hey, congratulations on the grandbaby. Yes, thank you. I know. <laughs> he just sent, Tommy just sent me a picture. I mean, it's gorgeous out right now. He just was taking him out for his first walk that you want it. All right. He's prowling and prowling already. Yeah, I bet. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever. You focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Cultivate wisdom. You don't need to accumulate knowledge to become wise. Anyone can become wise. When you become wise, you respect your body, you respect your mind, and you respect your soul. When you become wise, your life is controlled by your heart, not your head. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 356, Nasdaq's off 73, S&P's off 33, gold contract down $3.50, trading at 1864 an ounce. We get silver down 68 cents, $27.64 an ounce. Light sweet crude off 222, $63.27 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10 year note down 13 ticks, trading 131.30. The 30 year off 24 ticks at 155. 30 and King Dollar. King Dollar's up uh, half a penny of 514 ticks, trading 90.263. The Euro's at 121, the Yen is at 109, and the British Pound's at 141 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? We take a look at the SPY first. What you're going to see out here is that you have lower price and we have an expansion of volume. That is telling me flat out that we are going to go after this swing low from last week. That swing low from last week is 404. We've hit 405.33 thus far. NDX 100. Now, this can be an ABC structure on the way down. We'll see how this uh, shakes out. It's going after its uh, lower swing. Right now, the three Qs are trading 320.94. The number is 316. Now, I don't expect this to get hit today. We hit 316.30 today. You need volume of 91 million. There's no way we're going to get 91 million. Now, this is where the danger comes inside of the three Qs, folks, is that if we close anywhere close to basically, uh, it would be a lot lower than this. Let me, let me get this here for you. So we take a look at this. Right now, if we get into like, there it is right there. If we get into uh, like the 318, even 319, that's two points from where we were right now. Uh, bottom line is that that would set up that you could basically blast through that lower B point tomorrow and you would more than likely get the volume. You know, right now, the bottom line is that you haven't hit it, number one. You missed it by 30, 30 cents, okay? And you have a, a contraction of volume from that level. So on the bullish side, that is bullish. So this close here is going to be important. There's no, there's no two ways about that. Gold. Gold contract. We have the gold contract. And bottom line, gold's building costs for higher price. Uh, we got some nice volume in, inside the gold market today. Monster volume, actually. 378,000 contracts. And, you know, this area here was sticking out like a sore thumb. That, that's the real bottom line. You can picture why you get so much buying and selling up at this area. We traded uh, from this area, you know, going back from January 8th, going all the way over to February 2nd. Uh, you have heavy resistance there. There's no two ways about it. Bottom line, sold into it. That being said, guess what? When you sold into it, uh, it didn't matter because you get that expansion of volume. That's telling me that gold, next move on gold is uh, 1969. So you're talking about some uh, big numbers out here. Now, let's get over to the dollar. The dollar... Uh, got, a, got a little bounce, got a nice bounce going out here today. We got to uh, 89.688 on the lows. 
You're at 90.2229. And we'll see, uh, bottom line, uh, if, in fact, uh, you know, the dollar can hold. Uh, what has happened with the dollar is that you've had basically decent moves on the way up, but each one of these moves you have not been able to hold. hold. The first move that we had in, inside the dollar, if you, we look this back, was on April 10th. You know, we had uh, a move, uh, actually, more than, we had a move of 700 ticks. It only took three days to give it up. Then the next time that we did this, we did this on the 12th of May. Uh, 12th of May, also, you went up 700 ticks. It lasted two days, and out here today, we're up 500 ticks, and we'll see how this baby shakes out. My take is that what you're going to see out here is that the... Good old King Dollar is going to be running down into the swing low from February of 2018. And when you take a look at this swing low from February 18, it, the, the number there is 88.253, I believe. Let me just pull this baby up. Yeah, it's 88.253. That's where, that's where it game, and that is, that is game on uh, into that level. Let's go to Jose in uh, Lakeland. Jose, what's going on, brother? Hey, uh, there, Tom. Um, Tom, the, the the news about inflation is out. Uh, the, all the professional money managers believe that the Fed has goofed on their target. Clearly, oh, you know, they're all saying twenty percent inflation, no problem. But this um, this is like Thelma, Thelma and Louise. The, the car has crashed through the guardrail, and we're heading down into the canyon. It's all bad. <laughs> You know, we'll see where the, I mean, the, the Fed has told us flat out. I mean, the, the, the bottom line, folks, if you listen to what the Fed says, they, they want inflation to come and they're going to let it happen. Um, and then they're going to deal yeah. with it. You know, so, um, you know, the, when you take a look at the market and we take a look at the market structure for the last 15 years, everyone continued to think that inflation is going to be here and it never came. So we'll see uh, this time just how far the Fed actually is going to let this go. I mean, there, there's no doubt mm -hmm. that, you know, yeah. between food, between health, and between, you know, well, both, both of those, there's no doubt that inflation is out here, man. You know, the real question is going to be, you know, how long they're going to let it go. I just, I, I'm believing that they're going to let it go. They, that's, that's where my take is on this. Every, and in fact, what, you know what blows my mind, actually, folks? Is every time that they keep saying that the pullback in the market is because of inflation, it's like, hold it, but the pullback in the market is because every stock is trading at a 25 to 150 PE. Well, you can look historically, that's, that's the highs in the marketplace. So it's like, okay, how much you want to pay for it? Well, the market's saying, I don't want to pay more than that for it right now, you know? So. Yeah, they're going to talk dovish. They're going to give it the soft sell uh, so it doesn't look like they, uh, they screwed up. Um, so you're going to get, like you said, uh, more down this week, but I'm long a couple tech stocks for next week because it's Labor Day. You're going to, they're going to give you the feel good rally going into Labor Day. Some, they're going to give you something Memorial on a rally. Day. Memorial Day. Yeah. 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 Um, so where, where's the re-entry on Newmont? What price? Okay. Stay right there. Stay right there. Okay. Quick, quick break and we'll be, be coming right back, folks. Our phone number is 877 927 Dow's off 326. NASDAQ's off 55. S&P's off 31. We'll come right back. Hi, folks. Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. 
the TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, TAS understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the TAS Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Hey there, I'm Andy Arbertine with Tiger Precious Metals and Stones. Whether you're looking to buy and sell precious metals or trying to find the perfect diamond ring, I'm here to help. I have over 15 years of experience with diamonds and precious metals. You can call me directly at 727-329-8245 and I will personally answer any questions you have and help you find exactly what you're looking for. I will be your personal concierge in the metal and stone business. Give me a call today, 727-329-8245. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 317. Nasdaq's off 53. S&Ps are off 30. We're talking with our man Jose from Lake Lakeland, and we are going to be talking Newmont. So yeah, we're, we're down a buck or so. Yeah, so let's take a look at it. So you're trading 73.26. Now, what Newmont did, folks, is that it broke its all-time highs, has volume behind the move. That's telling me that 90 bucks is game on Newmont. Um, so it's going to be cool, pretty cool watching this whole thing shake out. Um, now, as to a pullback, you know, I don't see this coming a long way back. Um, yeah. It's, if you're it's, going to 90, I wouldn't think so. Yeah, so it's on a daily. I mean, realistically, think, you'd, you'd love to get this like at 69 or something. Do you know what I'm saying? I mean, that 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 would be. Well, here, let's talk about this because what happens here, folks, is this. So picture this. Even, you know, like we all like stocks that we're trading, and this is a very strong stock. So what happens here at this particular point, you really – would have to wait to 69 because then your risk versus a reward would be covered easier because, yeah. you know, it traded there for three or four days, so you know where to put the stop. Like right now, what you have is that it's in the not, it's almost at its highs, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, okay, man, you know, you okay, can. Okay, so, so it would not be a mistake to, to grab it at 70 either. No, it, it wouldn't. Know. No, it wouldn't, exactly. Because no. what it, we it, had. It, this is what we had out here this morning, folks, that's really impressive. We had a market that was down. You had, you know, we'll talk about Bitcoin in a second. Bitcoin was down. Everything was down. But yet, you know what? This is the first time that I actually saw that people were buying gold. Mm -hmm. that, and that, we haven't seen something like that in a long period of time. You know, gold yeah. was uh, overnight was down about $10. Gold was the first thing that came back. So it's possible that, you know, maybe the market is basically waking up that, you know, the bottom line is that, great, you know, you and I go to the casino a lot, okay? But we know when we go to the casino, the bottom line, you're going for entertainment and you're putting on red or black. My take is that, you know, if you're in the Bitcoin market, that's what you're doing. It's not, it's not a way to consistently make any money. And, you know, I think the metals are. So we'll see what happens, man. But um, Bitcoin? Are you crazy? I'd rather go to Suffolk Downs in East Boston totally. than buy Bitcoin. Uh, no, that, that, there's no doubt. I know. It's a joke. Right. Yeah. Jesus. Tom, I'm reading some of the prophets here. Isaiah, 
Jeremiah, Ezekiel. We may have to add O'Brien to that list. Oh, Come yeah, on. yeah. God bless us all if that happens. <laughs> Thanks, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Um, let, let, I want to, let, yeah, let, let's go to Bitcoin for a second, folks, okay? Um, XBT. So, you know, the, the, the mantra, it, of course, is that, you know, Bitcoin, well, Kathy Wood, okay, was out here today on Bloomberg saying that uh, the bottom line is that, you know, her analysts think that Bitcoin can go to 500,000. Well, guess what? I mean, listen, you know, we're all speculators, but I have no freaking clue how you could even do the fundamental analysis that Bitcoin can go to 500,000. You know, this to me is just as when Jose and we, I, you know, myself were talking, you know, great. If you, you know, you want to go hit it on red, hit it on uh, black, okay, uh, you have something there. But there's no way to consistently make money um, on something like this. Just it's, the, the volatility is just way too much. I mean, there's no doubt if you bought it at 30000 today, guess what? You just made a fortune because it's 38000 um, You know, <laughs> so we'll see where the whole thing shakes out. But this is um, telling me once again that this is not, um, you know, this is just not a way to basically accumulate wealth. And it's certainly not a way that they claim that uh, in the future, uh, you know, there's going to be something in, inside of Bitcoin that's going to be worth um, consistency. It's just, it, it's just not there. Inside the Dow Industrials. Let's go inside the Dow. Because what the Dow did is this. So let's take a look at this Dow. So the Dow broke the swing point. Um, the swing to point that we're talking about out here, uh, it was the swing from last week. The swing point there is uh, 33,555. Now what we do here is this. We're going to go back to that uh, day, which is the 12th. Okay. So when you do price and volume, we have the swing point. You go back to the 12th. The 12th, we did 1.1 million contra I mean shares. So what you have here is this. More than likely, we are actually going to do at least that. So if that's what, it, what happens, and we'll have this number for you closer to the close, that is saying we'll be right back downtown. Because you can see inside the NYSE right now, we have already done 649,000 shares. That's, that's big share value folks at 3 323 in the afternoon um so that is telling me that guess what this thing's not done on the way down um you know the the nasdaq the ndx 100 is trying i mean in a monster way to get into the positive has been trying that all day long uh that being said there's still a seller out there and that seller is pretty intense if we take a look at the dow industrials uh, the strength inside the Dow uh, out here today is Salesforce. That's putting 42 positive points. Taken away from it, Goldman, negative, 20, 40, negative 47. Home Depot, 29. Caterpillar, 25. Actually, let's go look, take a look at Lowe's because Lowe's came out with their numbers today. Home Depot had big numbers, no doubt. Lowe's come out with their numbers. Um, Lowe's is, uh, what's this sideways? Well, it's down three bucks. You don't have volume behind the move. Not bad. Lowe's can actually pull back to 179. Right now, you're at 188. If we go back over to Home Depot, uh, we take a look at Home Depot. Home Depot gap lower. Okay, this is interesting. Is that going to be 5.8? No, it's not going to be an ABC down, but you, you had a gap lower. See, and there's not, there's not much support here. This is, you know, because we went up so fast, man, we'll see where this shakes out. But I would say that... Uh, some of these stocks that do want higher price, what you're going to see, this is a, a market that would basically is, is dragging quite a few of them down. Let's go over to the NQs because here goes the NQs again. They're going to try to make a run uh, topside once again. The NQs made a run into the positive earlier. Um, and the number, it just went over the number again. So the number, you know, the longer that it stays over this 172 and you're at 204, you know, saying, okay, man, you can go up and uh, test that number. So the, the high thus far was 243. So 13,243. Right now, you are at uh, 43 points uh, away from it. Uh, but we absolutely have a long way to go before the close. <laughs> and uh, the NQs as well as the S&P. Look at this S&P. The S&P just went up 20 points. <laughs> you got to love it, man. Um, doing the same deal. You know, so we'll see how this test comes out. Right now, the E-minis are down 24. 
We're at uh, 4098 and uh, 4108 uh, can get tested, you know, uh, and we'll see uh, how that uh, baby does shake out. And we take a look at the XAU, the HUI. In fact, let me look at this from yesterday because these babies got some good numbers in them. Put that volume on it. Bring this back. Put it on the weekly right now. Okay, so on the weekly, we're going to need 211. You're at 79. Oh, this is this is going to be pretty good because we don't get the rest till tonight. 79. It's a buck 20. It's going to be a close call. It's going to be a close call. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Hi, folks. This is Tom O'Brien. The printing presses are working 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The U.S. deficit has risen 200 percent in one year with no end in sight. The markets are looking for an additional stimulus bill to get us through this once in a generation pandemic. There is no free lunch, folks. The more stimulus dollars put into the marketplace, the less your dollar is worth each and every day. This is the time to protect yourself with a portion of your portfolio in the metal market. The gold report comes out each Monday morning. I bisect and dissect the dollar, silver, gold, the XAU, and the HUI. The gold report is a long-term hedge against the dilution of your buying power. The U.S. has put more than $6 trillion into the marketplace in the last six months, with more expected in the next few months. The market did and does need the stimulus, but it will have long-term implications on our buying power. The Gold Report comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Go to TFNN.com and order the Gold Report now. Protect your buying power. Order the Gold Report now. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's uh, off at 249. Nasdaq's off 27. S&P's are off 23. And we're back to 20-point uh, moves in the, inside the S&P's fast and furious, folks, which is pretty wild. So the crypto exchanges, uh, they've had a tough week out here. So, um you know, what you've had is that you've had uh, $1 trillion, okay, in two weeks uh, basically evaporate. Uh, and today, what you did have is that we had uh, Binance uh, as well as Coinbase, uh, both of them um, had outages, okay? So you can imagine if you're trying to get out of these things and uh, all of a sudden you can't. Let's go over to Coinbase for a second and take a look at Coinbase. So Coinbase is trading at 224. I believe this was the 250 IPO, right? That's the number they put on it. Let me just see. 
And the stock went up to four something, I think. Yeah, 429. 429. We hit 208 today. Um, this came, let's see, revenue ratios issue is, yeah, it doesn't have a 450. I mean, a 250, I believe, was the number. Uh, what we're, what we're going to find, folks, okay, um, and this will take another few months, but you're going to see all these sparks that are out here. Uh, the amount of money that is going to be lost in those sparks uh, is going to be astronomical. It's, it's going to, uh, it, it's not that it's going to basically bring the rest of the market down, but the folks that actually did get in them uh, at higher prices, meaning at higher than $10, because that's how those babies uh, shake out, uh, then the sponsors grab their money out of it. Um, this will this will be on the losses will be on the uh, the scope of the uh, I would say the Nasdaq uh, in 2000. You know, GBTC. Now check this one out. This is going to be cool watching this thing shake out. So you got Grayscale. You know, we talked about this yesterday. Okay, Grayscale Bitcoin Trust. Look at this, folks. Okay, if you're going to buy Bitcoin, this is trading at a minus 21 percent premium. Yes, you heard that correctly. Okay, so we've seen this when it's at a plus. Now it's at a minus. I, I can't wait to see the, a the aspect of how much the larger players have actually lost in this trade. Because the, the way that this trade works is that when you're a longer-term holder inside of Bitcoin, the bottom line is that you can create equity inside of the GBTC as an institution, that, that being said, you have to hold it for a huge amount of time. And the bottom line is that as you are holding it, of course, this thing uh, has been going south. And it's pretty amazing that uh, when we're talking about a 21%, yeah, 20, right now it's 22.5%. Okay, that's insane. Let's go take a look at Vista Gold for a couple of our tigers out here. So Vista Gold out here, we've had Fred on a few times. Uh, we get 387,000 contract uh, uh, shares that are traded right out here. Um, you know, you had the you had a news the, out here today. The bottom line is that dr drill results uh, came in positive once again. What's happening with Vista Gold, folks, is that they're waiting for their last um, license. That's what it really comes down to. When all said and done, they're waiting for the last license. Once that last license comes in, and you know, I think 210 is game. 209. You know, we'll see where the 145 is the, is the next move on that. 210 is the number. Uh, and as Fred said, you know, when I was interviewing him, uh, the first thing he does every day uh, is, is looks uh, on uh, his email uh, if, in fact, uh, they have sent him something saying that, okay, we're ready to go. You know, so we'll, we'll see, you know, politically where that is. Uh, but there's, there's no doubt once they get that last license, that, that is going to definitely make a difference. Let's go take a look at some of the top dogs inside of the, of the NDX 100. Amazon, Amazon still in, in a consolidation. You know, you're down 12 bucks there. No big deal, but that consolidation is still on. We go take a look at Google. Uh, Google, same type of setup. You know, Google, and this is where my, my take is that the NDX is going to go after these swing lows. The reason being... Every one of these I bring up, you got a low, high, high volume swing low from last week. It hasn't been tested. Uh, if you bring up the stronger stocks, and you can see that they're still having a hard time uh, basically really getting wide price spread and accelerated volume. You know, if we take a look at Microsoft out here, which has one of, been one of the strongest uh, equities out here, what you're going to see with Microsoft is that, oh, this would be good. We tested this today, but 3.3. .3. So Microsoft just tested. Okay, this is good. So Microsoft, so check this out. Microsoft uh, just came down to 64.49. You did uh, 1.9 million, you did 3.3, you did it's rejected lower price. Now the real question is gonna be, you know, can it get out of here? And if that's gonna be it. But that, there's your first test. Well, I don't know if that's the first test, meaning equity-wise, if we can find a few, oh no, hold it. One second, that's not Microsoft. How did that work? Three thirty-eight oh seven, two thirty-eight oh seven, two. Th yeah, no, I had I had another one up here. Okay, okay. So Microsoft ha hasn't. Thank you. Microsoft uh, hasn't tested it yet. Microsoft still wants to test this area. The area we're talking about is the two forty-four thirty-eight. Uh, silver. Let's go take a look at the silver market. So what do we have with silver out here? Silver's trading down fifty-five cents. 
And then we got to go to notes and bonds. This is a nice setup. So you're back to where we were on Monday. You have volume behind the move. You didn't break the swing, thank God. You got a rejection of 27.42. 27.43 was the number. Not a, not a bad setup. Um, that's, that's where this baby shakes out. We got to take a look at the, uh, oh, I know, notes and bonds. This we want to look at because you got the 10-year note first off down 10 ticks. Okay, so at 10 ticks, yeah, you get a sideways move, man. I mean, there, you know, there is no doubt that the note and bond market, folks, you know, is tricky. There's, there's no doubt about that. That being said, though, guess what? The note and bond market, the 10-year, couldn't even break last week's low. Last week's low was 131.27. You hit 130.130 today and said, guess what? I don't want to go any lower. And that's pretty impressive. Uh, you had the Fed minutes come out earlier, the Fed minutes. Uh, didn't say much. That, that's what it really comes down to. Uh, if they've said anything, what they have said inside those Fed minutes, that uh, guess what? Uh, they are going to continue buying uh, the notes and bonds uh, for the for foreseeable future. The thing that's going to be amazing is that you, I can't even picture that everything hasn't changed for for. I mean, nothing is forever, but I'm talking about for a long period of time. You're not going to have the Fed go from an aspect of buying $120 billion a month down to even $60. It's not, that, that, that is how this is going to fly out, folks. Um, the bottom line is that no one is going to slice their throat like that on, on a very fast and, you know, a furious deal. It just, it's, I, I just don't see it. I particularly don't see it because what, what we do have inside that note and bond market is that they can just let them roll off. That, that's the real bottom line, okay? So you get the Treasury prints it. As the Treasury prints it, the Fed buys it, you know, sucks it up, rolls it over, and let, they let the time basically go forward. That's kind of how this uh, whole thing seems to be shaken out. Uh, we go take a look at, uh, let's go take a look at a couple of the infrastructure stocks. Uh, U.S. Steel, U.S. Steel right now, that pullback, that has some volume. So U.S. Steel, you're going to want to be looking at U.S. Steel uh, on the, the lower end of this consolidation, because what U.S. Steel does have is that that $29 high, that has high volume high, man. So that's going to be back to it. And you want to stay all over these infrastructure stocks, because the bottom line, my take, is that this thing's going to fly. I mean, we'll see whether both parties are going to go, but it's going to fly, whether both parties go for it or not. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with a 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors.
biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call, call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 279. The Nasdaq off 53. S&Ps are off 27. Our guest today, folks, is Danielle Vaughn. Danielle is a real estate attorney, strictly a real estate attorney, uh, out of the St. Pete, uh, Clearwater, Tampa uh, area. Uh, Danielle's uh, website is dvaughnlaw.com. Uh, Danielle, welcome to TFNN. Hi, Tom. Thank you. How are you? Uh, I'm doing great. And uh, bottom line, folks, is that each and every one of us right across the country, uh, you know, uh, whether you're buying, selling a house or whatever you're doing, uh, we are going to get some uh, some of the, the good, the bad and the ugly uh, inside of uh, closing uh, uh, real estate transactions. So tell us, Danielle, you know, I was, of course, I've been down here 25 years. When I was in Boston, you always had a closing attorney, and it was an attorney. When I came down here, and Danielle, folks, is my real estate attorney, and she's fabulous, okay? The bottom line, I wanted to put her on, though, just for the aspect of coming right across the country, is why you should have an attorney, but even in Florida. In Florida, it, well, yeah, for, in Florida, I mean, what happens is that you just have titled people, right? So talk, talk to us the difference in Florida a titled person versus having an attorney on your side. And I know you have a title company also, but talk to me about that difference. Yes. So the difference is essentially I can do the same thing a title company can, and they can almost do the same thing an attorney can when it comes to a closing transaction, but not everything. Um, you know, if a transaction goes 100% smoothly, then a title insurance company can close it according to plan. Yes. Um, unfortunately, you know as well as anybody, not every transaction is a smooth transaction. Right. Uh, sometimes there's those surprises in the title work that you didn't expect, and um, you need to fix those items. So I think that's probably the main reason why I recommend going to a real estate attorney with every transaction is is to get that protection to ensure that you can close and get those items fixed. I know a lot of title companies can can tell you, hey, you have an issue here, you need to fix it, but they don't have the ability to actually help you fix that problem. Yes. Now, you know what I mean? Yes. No, I, I, we both know. I definitely know what you mean. <laughs> so, because what does happen, folks, when you do a lot of transactions, something's always going to, not always, okay, but the bottom line when something does come up, you're talking about big money, you know, if you're buying or selling a house, and, and it's very important to make sure that it's done correctly. So what are some of the bigger issues that you see in your transactions that people, no matter where they are in the country, should always be looking at? I think, number one, your deed. It's the most important document that you're going to sign. And a lot of people just treat it as another document yes. if it's not executed or prepared properly you might not have the title that you expected to have um or more importantly what i see a lot is it won't include non-homestead language or or marital status and so when you go um you know when the buyer goes to sell the property in you know 10 15 years and there's an issue with the deed into them Fixing it 10 to 15 years from now is much, much more difficult than making sure it's correct at the outset. No doubt. And, you know, what we have run into a few times, folks, and I want to have Danielle explain this to you, 
is that, you know, there's many folks that you know, they'll set up LLCs, okay? Um, or they won't set up an LLC, and all of a sudden you think you're buying this off a trust, and the fact of the matter is um, it's never been registered. So can you talk to us a little bit about that? We've run into that a few times. That They say it's a trust. It's like, okay, well, where is the trust, right? I mean, but if you can speak to the audience, that would be awesome. Yeah, so it's a little bit different depending on if it's an LLC or a trust. But, yeah, absolutely. People will create um, what they think is a trust or, or actually let's let's go with an LLC first. They'll create what they think is an LLC or corporation, but they didn't actually register it or it's dissolved. Um, if they didn't register it, then then it then it becomes a huge issue of who actually owns this property. Yes. If that LLC doesn't exist and it never did, and it's not in your name individually, how do we fix that issue and and make sure that you are the owner and can sell it? So that that's a major issue. For sure. Now, and um, what we've seen uh, before is into a trust. Um, uh, a trust is a wonderful. Um, it's a wonderful avenue to buy and sell property, but you need to make sure that the deed is done properly so it goes into the trust properly. If not, it goes into a trustee. And as you've seen, if it goes into the trustee's name individually and that trustee has any judgments or anything, it can attach to the property. So now now you thought you had a, you owned, a, uh, owned a property in a trust, but it's actually owned by this trustee who shouldn't have any ownership interest or any beneficiary interest in the property and any of their judgments have now attached to the property yes now folks this part here is going to save everyone a lot of money okay talk to us about the title company that the, the title insurance and owner's insurance and if you can explain to the audience the difference and when you see this one folks let me tell you something whether you're going to do a refinance or anything like this okay um, if you can just explain how an owner's policy works and what the difference is, you know, like uh, when I'm buying a place and I'm refinancing it or whatever, so, so how they can save money. Yeah, so your owner's title insurance policy is extremely important, and I don't think a lot of people understand that when they purchase a property. Your owner's title insurance policy is based off of the sales price, and it's something that you have for the entire life of, of ownership of the property. It stays with you. So it's a one-time small fee and you, and you keep it forever. Now, what that does is when you own a property and you have an ownership, uh, um, an owner's policy, it protects you to make sure that you do own that property. So for example, let's say 10 years down the road, somebody knocks on your door and says, hey, I own this property. Well, you make a claim on your title insurance policy and they step in and protect you and they fight against that individual and say, no, you don't own this property. We're gonna protect the, we're gonna protect your interest. And, in, and, and if that means that they have to pay this person off or they actually have to go into litigation, they'll do either of that. They'll hire an attorney to, to represent you and make sure that you own your property. What's also great is, if you get a loan, um, if you get a loan, or um, if you sell the property shortly thereafter, uh, you get a discount on your title insurance policy as long as you have the owner's title insurance policy. So there is a lender's title insurance policy as well. There are two different policies. Owners protects you as the owner. Lender protects the lender and ensures that their loan is in first lien position. Uh, if you don't get them together, let's say you buy a property cash and you want to refinance it after the fact, or if you want to take some money out for construction purposes, you'll still get a discount on that second uh, lender's title insurance policy if you have your owner's title insurance policy in hand. Which is huge, folks, okay? So the, the key is, just as Daniel explained, get that owner's policy because if you keep it, if you refinance it, you're going to get a discount going forward. Danielle, thank you so much for the education. You have a great one, safe one. We look forward to having you on again. Thank you, Tom. Have a great day. Thank you. And folks, you can reach Danielle um, at 727. If you happen to be in the uh, Clearwater, St. Pete, uh, uh, St. Uh, Tampa area, her number is 727-223-6080. And it's Danielle Vaughn, and it's dvonlaw.com. And I can tell you, she's a great attorney, period. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. We'll see where this uh, baby's going to go right now. You get the Dow down 240. NASDAQ's off 53. S&Ps are off 23. We have the gold up uh, 240. 
and good old King Dollar. King Dollar's still hanging up there. You get uh, you up 450 short, ticks. But you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Introducing Primal Edge. Today, it's even more important to take a supplement that complements your health. Primal Edge is specifically formulated to boost your immune system and help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Our early ancestors found all their nutritional requirements in the wild environment. But today, our food sources don't contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that we need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based, vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated humic and fulvic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, without them, life cannot exist. That's right, Ellen. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. Primal Edge, just $89, exclusively at TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's down 230. Nasdaq's off 38. S&Ps are off 20. Let's go, do, go back to the uh, volume on this NYSE because it's going to be a big one. You're at 7.30 right now. 1.1 uh, billion is the number you're going to be looking for, folks. If you get more than 1.1 billion, that is saying, bottom line, your probability goes much higher that you are going to go down into the March lows. Because what we have here, if we take a look at the Dow Industrials, you're going to see that we went after the swing point. The swing point they're talking about uh, was the 33,555. We hit the 33,473. Uh, bottom line, uh, Thus far, it has rejected that number, uh, and you get a rejection, and uh, the way this is uh, trading out right now, you actually get a rejection, and you get a little hammer that's, uh, that's setting up. So if you don't get that volume uh, on the way down, that would be saying that, guess what, you can get a bounce going. We take, take a look at the SPY. SPY is a different animal out here. Uh, we still have with the SPY is that you're down buck seventy nine. You're coming into the swing point also. You got the expansion of volume. Then we go into the NDX 100, which is trying to basically get into the positive once again. And it uh, looks like it's going to do it. I mean, right now you're only down five cents uh, inside of the NQs. That being said, what has happened with the uh, NQs? The NQs have been jumping around uh, by 20 point increments uh, in a monster way. We just went positive inside the NQs. We are up, uh, we're flat right now. So if we close out flat inside these NQs, that would be saying that uh, we're going to get a pop the rest of the week. That's how, that, that's how that's set up. You know, we get down, we get down to the lows out here. 
of uh, 240, uh, 182. You rejected it. That's saying it, uh, let's say it's Wednesday. Yeah, that's saying, that's saying Thursday. Yeah, this thing can get a pop. And uh, as the uh, world moves on, that's where that baby uh, is looking. The uh, gold and silver market, bottom line, still want higher price. XAU, HUI wants higher price. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. And whatever you want in life, folks, visualize it like a nice big motion picture. Step into it. Take ownership of it. Fly with it. Everything we need, folks, is right inside us. You might as well have a blast with it. Yesterday's gone. Tomorrow's not here. What are you doing right now? Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit us tomorrow morning. Tommy kicks us off. 9 a.m. Great show. Yeah, we'll get him, folks. Building